We often think, when we think of Blue Prism, when we think of automation, we always focus on the technology, and that's great. But more than that, it's also how you use the technology, and that's what we're going to be talking about, the ROM. ROM stands for Robotic Operating Model. And it's almost like a, like a GPS, super cool technology. But it's going to be useless if you don't know the address where you're going, if you don't know where you need to be. So what are the seven foundations of the ROM? We're going to go through each one of them here. The first, as we said, the vision, knowing what you want to get out of the digital workforce. Financial benefits, increased customer satisfaction, increased execution time, et cetera. So all of these, they need to be aligned with the overall objectives of your organization. Then you have a clear vision of how to build that RPA roadmap. The next thing is organization. When we think of organization, we think of the people. In the context of Blue Prism, when we say organization, we're referring to not only the human workforce, but the digital workforce and how these two work together. Then, of course, we come to a really interesting topic, pipeline and governance. And I'm going to start with this. For governance, one of the things about the ROM is that you define your governance board. There is the head of RPA, there are business stakeholders, and there are IT stakeholders. Each of them looks at things from different angles. Of course, all of them combined kind of like give a sort of a 360 view of the whole digital workforce and what, what, uh, what needs to be done in, in terms of their needs, etc. Next thing is the service model. The service model is just one piece of the ROM. And the service model is actually those best practices that you implement in your processes in that you have your architects, that you have your solution designers review the code, make sure that it's according to specifications. In Blue Prism, one of the things we like to say, and as a matter of fact, as part of our best practices, what we like to always say is that the ultimate test to a robot is that if you have a process and then somehow you get a peak in demand, and that one robot doesn't have enough capacity, a well-designed process, you will be able to run it on a second robot. And these two will work that workload. And they will not be fighting for the resources. That's the ultimate test of a well-designed robot. What does that mean? Scalability. Then we go to the people. And so at first, we discussed the organization, right? Blending the digital workforce with the human workforce. Now we're talking about the people, and the people that refers to the people that will work on the technology, the developers, the technical architects that will build your infrastructure to meet your demands, the people that are doing analysis and building those analysis documents to document your needs and how the processes execute and how the processes are done. Finally, the technology, of course, Blue Prism. But not only Blue Prism, also the infrastructure that goes with it. Making sure that your infrastructure meets not only your current demands, but your future demands. And again, it's up to you to decide what kind of infrastructure you're going to have, what kind of environment you're going to have. Is it going to be static? Is it going to be in-house? Is it going to be, are you going to leverage cloud? Is it going to be elastic, et cetera? That's the, all of those are questions that will be for you to define in your vision. And it will depend on your volumes, it will depend on, of course, all the conditions um, in your organizations.